Jeff Rowan, no, it's an island thing still, yeah? I immediately apologize for that, but <laughs> had to do it. A little bit of a culture vulture, maybe some appropriation, but I mean it in the best way possible. Today we have Jamaican food, honey garlic ribs with an authentic jam rock patty. It looks amazing. And uh, we've got some rice with some beans and other things in there, but just a down dirty little comfort meal from the island so speaking of which i had to get an island soda they had the ting there but i wasn't really vibing the grapefruit so i went for the cream soda because i do love a good cream soda so before we do anything more we must pa pow pa pow pa pow pour ice on deck this is a pop top so we got to get official with the shits Pop that off. Nothing like a good clear cream soda. None of this pink crush brand. What is that BS? You know what I mean? But for real, cream soda is a low key, high key, doesn't get enough play soda, but is a top, top flavored soda, in my humble opinion. Mmm, that's good. A little more perfumey than uh, other cream sodas I've had. But okay, let's get into some Jamaican food. I want to actually save the first bite of that for after I try this rice and these honey garlic ribs. Now the story behind this is that this is a place called Ted's Kitchen where I'm at. And Ted owns and operates... The kitchen, a very like singular guy, skeleton crew type uh, type restaurant, very like one man kind of operation. And uh, I don't know exactly when he landed here, but he opened this place a while back and people went crazy for it in the city. Every time I come to town, my sister would tell me how I have to try Ted's Kitchen for some authentic Jamaican because she said it's amazing. And I just never got around to it when I was in town. Now that I live here, this is my first try and I'll tell you what. Those are some fall off the bone ribs. Wow. Very, very good. The honey garlic is coming through. I personally wish there was just a bit more of the honey garlic. If I could get a side of it, I'd be much happier. Just because I'm very saucy by my nature. I don't know if they're supposed to be super saucy or not, but it's rice is delicious, flavorful, very mild spice. But those ribs. Just falling all over the place. Mm -hmm. Perfect meal for today. I was, it's gloomy, rainy, kind of like it's getting cold here. And uh, I've just had a long, busy day full of a lot of disappointment. And I was going to cook, but... Some things happened and that didn't work out. So I said, you know what? Let me try this place that I've been meaning to try. And that is the inside of an authentic jam rock patty.
mild white boy can't handle the spice. I did though bring a little hot sauce. Funny story about me and Patty's is that I never knew of them. I never had one in my life. Moved to Toronto and people who like lived there their whole life were talking about how good patties are. I was like, what the fuck is a patty? And they were just like, I almost got outcasted immediately, but instead I got put on game. I started eating patties. The thing though is, the ones you bump into in Toronto usually are very like, Kind of mass produced type patties so they're not like the most authentically delicious whereas this one i've had a few of these in my life legitimately like hand beat with lots of butter authentically filled with like a good amount of meat like a real patty right now i don't know if this is blasphemy but these are ribs and I do love sauce. So my apologies if I'm about to offend anybody, but kind of just needed to liven up the party. I was this close to getting the uh, brown sauce chicken. Brown stewed chicken. But there was a lady in front of me who asked the guy to, when she put it in order, she's like, do you have your ribs today? Cause apparently he runs out quick and he's like, yeah, yeah, I got them. And, uh, I was like, are they that good? And she's like, you gotta get them. So I went off her recommendation. Not disappointed. Once again, don't know if this is blasphemy, I'm sorry. But I'm a white guy from Canada. And we love ketchup on our beef. I love that. I'm sorry if that hurts any authentic Jamaicans in here. I would 100% go back to try some other stuff.
this was the small portion, by the way, as well. The container he packed it into didn't look very big. When I pulled it out and picked it up, I was like, holy crap. So heavy. We coming back with the with the baby ray. Mm. That's what's up. When ribs are proper tender, I don't know, something else. Hard to contend with. But yeah, it's just on my grind today. Got a ton of shit done, but on the go since early. And then some other shit was supposed to transpire that didn't. I got some pretty unexpected, like bad news. That just kind of left me a little deflated. <clears throat> so a nice, uh, nice comfort meal to help out is always good. Hmm? Man, he hooks it up. You got a lot of ribs in here. You got a lot of meat. Should I have just been here from the start, like this. I don't think it's that kind of rice. <laughs> you need a stickier rice for that. And maybe a, some sort of flappy bread. To scoop it up in. Let me know down below <clears throat> how y'all feel about Jamaican food. What's your favorite item? I need some festival for after this.
that bite had some obstacles in it. Some cartilage obstacles. Hmm. One more bite of this rice. Then I gotta be done. Okay, cool. Bam. Very, very good. Shout out Ted. I know he'll never see this, but shout out Ted and his kitchen. Shout out the island of Jamaica. And shout out you watching this vid. Thank you for being here. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true. Ow. Stay true. Okay, bye.